<laughs> All right, Amanda, we're back in our Southern Union Community College kitchen, whipping up some good food as always on this Friday. We're joined with, you're known as Chef Snow, yes. what I'm told around here yes. from Soul Revival <laughs> Cookhouse right in Prattville. So we showed you earlier with Sally, starting on the salmon. What yes. do we have here now? So now we're going to work on our cream sauce. So you'll have your oven about medium temp, and you're going to add in some seasoning. So now. what are we adding it into? What is this is heavy cream. Okay. We have heavy cream boiling here. And the good thing about this dinner, like I was telling Sally, it's super easy. So you're using most of the same ingredients. So we're going to take some Mrs. Dash. And, and I saw you add that on the salmon earlier. Yes, okay. yes. We're going to dump that in there. I was paying, see, I was paying attention. <laughs> yes, you were. <laughs> good job, girl. Next, we're going to add our Cajun seasoning. Okay. Okay. And we're going to give this a stir just like this. And you just want to get all those seasonings mixed in. Okay. Because this is going to make for a really good creamy sauce for your salmon. And once we mix that in, we want to add a little bit of cheese. This is cheddar cheese. You can use any cheese you like. Sometimes okay. I use Parmesan cheese, sometimes I use mozzarella, but for this one, I'm gonna use cheddar cheese. Now, does it change the taste to you depending on what kind of cheese you use? It does, it does change the okay. taste a little bit. This is a sharp cheddar, so it gives it more of a cheesier taste. Um, also, to give it a little of a color texture to it. Okay. Um, so you can just stir this up, but it also gives the creaminess to your sauce. So, Jasmine, if you can continue to stir this up for me, I'm going to hop over Working me on a Friday. Yeah. It's all right. We're going to tag team this thing. I'm now, what are you doing over here? So, these are the mashed potatoes. So, earlier we were boiling the mashed potatoes. Uh -huh. Once we boil them, you're going to put them in a bowl. I added some butter. It doesn't matter what kind you use, but make sure it's salted butter. Therefore, you don't have to put too much salt in your potatoes. We're going to add Are you add melting a your butter at all before? Just, no, okay. no. The heat from the mashed potatoes being so hot, it's just going to melt the butter. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to add a little bit of salt, just a little bit, because like I said, the butter we're using is salted. You're going to add some pepper. Mm -hmm. We're going to add a little parsley. Of course, we've got to make it look cute. <laughs> Does parsley really add anything other than color to Just food? color okay. and cuteness, that's it. <laughs> just a little garnish over just here. Just a little garnish. And we're going to add some garlic paste. Okay. That gives a little flavor to your mashed potatoes. And then, finally, you're going to add your heavy cream. How much of that are you adding in? This is about two cups. Okay. I'm still stirring, y'all. Still stirring, yeah. Get it stirred. All right. And then we're going to whip this up in our blender. Okay, we are standing by right now here in our kitchen. Thank you so much, Chef Snow. But right now, we are about to toss it over to NBC for a special report. Okay, Jasmine, you don't have to stir anymore. You can just let this go. Okay, so I can keep this yeah, here, and yeah. then you got the potatoes got here. The potatoes you going. added heavy cream. Yes. yes. Now, um, did you peel your potatoes? I was. I do not peel my potatoes. Oh, because I'm seeing it. I yes. saw a little color in there. Yes. You want to leave the skin on the potatoes. That really gives it that good flavor, and it really okay. makes it the really good whipped homemade mashed potato. Now, are you picky about what kind of potatoes you use when you're mashing? I am not really okay. picky. These potatoes were golden potatoes. You can use red potatoes. Now, the golden potatoes do have more of a soft, creamier texture than the red potatoes. The red potatoes you have to cook longer. Okay. So because we're doing a meal That's on a good the tip. yeah, because we're doing a meal on the thirty, we want to go for the golden potatoes. And I showed, I'm sure Sally told you this, but us moms love, yes. love a, a under 30 minute meal. Yes, meals. of course, of course, of course. And so we just want to get those good and creamy and blended. Oh, smell. I can smell yes. the potatoes. And, and the, the garlic mm -hmm. and the butter. And so now we have these blended really, really well. Um, as they sit longer because you want them to sit a little bit they'll stiff up some, okay. so they won't be so runny um, and then we're going to head over here and take our salmon and asparagus uh, okay. out. Okay now I watched you all prep this earlier yes. and I saw all the honey you put on it oh so good. <laughs> See now this looks like something I can do this looks nice and easy. Yes. About how long did you keep that in for? 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 
And also, because you have your asparagus on this side, normally I'll take the asparagus out, um, but sometimes you can leave it on there. You just turn your oven off once your uh, salmon is so done. So pull the salmon and leave mm -hmm. it in there for yeah, a okay. Yeah, yeah, that's totally fine. And then you want to um, Ooh, take the cream, the sauce. the sauce. Doesn't sauce just make everything a little it bit better? It makes everything better. <laughs> And we're just going to put it over. Now, I heard you mention to Sally, too, that you do something special on your menu. Is this always on the menu, or is this something that you add occasionally? So this is not on my menu all the time. This is something that I'll run as a special. Okay. We have special of the day at the restaurant, and some days I may do a salmon alfredo or a salmon salad. Okay. Um, we have a seafood delight that has salmon in it, and everyone loves it. So when I said, what am I going to do today? Salmon was going to be my choice. Okay. Yes. And we will have this on Monday as a special as well. So feel free to stop by. All right. And we will be right back to dish it up in here in our kitchen. Thank yes. you so much. You're I can't welcome. wait to try it. We'll be right back.